Well, it's been a long and exhausting, but um, a very productive day. And in front of us here on the counter are the fruits of our labor. All of the pierogies. We made sauerkraut, cabbage, and... Potato. Potato. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm enjoying a very well-deserved glass of wine. Gary, give him the numbers. And the reason really. she missed the potato is <laughs> not because she's drunk, but because we're tired. Let's face it. We're, 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 we've been working a lot. We're not used to being on our feet for six hours straight. Mm -hmm. uh, we're glad it's over. We'll enjoy it in a few days. So let me give you time and materials on where we are with this and, and how we got to this stage. We started with five pounds of potatoes, two pounds of onion, fried onion. We ended up with 140 pierogi. These are with a three the inch... The potato pierogi. Potato pierogi, sorry. Right. And uh, we lost three, only three in, the, in that run. That was, that was good. It was an excellent run. With the sauerkraut, uh, we ended up with exactly 60, but we had somewhere around 12 to 15 losses. Yeah. And the reason is, uh, the, as you might gather, the sauerkraut is stringy. It's difficult to, to corral and keep in a ball. And sometimes if it gets away from you and we, one strand leads out of the pierogi, that is a point of weakness, and water gets in there and destroys the pierogi. So that's one of the reasons. It's normal that we have lot more losses in sauerkraut, although it's disappointing to have that many. Cabbage. We started with a medium head of cabbage, and again, we mixed in two pounds of onion on that. We ended up with 81 pierogi, uh, cabbage pierogi, that are uh, definitely servable, and we lost about eight. And that's a little more than we would like, but at any rate, that's not bad. It's also later in the day, we're getting tired, we're, we're not as on our mark. Uh, for more information, uh, please go to the website that we have on the pierogi recipe. Uh, we'll show it at the end of uh, the film. Uh, there you'll find not only more details on the procedure and the recipes, but you'll also find additional fillings that people have written in or we have found or we've used in the past. Uh, so there's a large variety uh, that are available. Uh, you will find some people will scoff at what we have here, uh, and they prefer completely different types of, of pierogi, meat-filled, for instance, or mushroom-filled. Or cheese. Or cheese. Cheese, cheese is very, very popular, very common. Yes, we get a lot of, of comments on, on cheese variations. Uh, I also would like to thank you for, to well, thank the people who have written in and, and uh, given us an insight into their family traditions, pierogi or whatever Polish tradition, or even some other traditions that people have written in, to, in about. Uh, those are all heartfelt. Those who have lost their loved ones, for instance, and, and are trying to recapture the traditions that they had with them, uh, listening to their stories, it's really great. It, it, it definitely enriches our Christmas a lot to read these things, not just that we also get emails throughout the year, particularly Thanksgiving and Easter, so we really appreciate that. We try and answer all the email uh, that we get. Sometimes it may be delayed a bit, but, but nevertheless, we really appreciate that. You're all, and anyone's welcome to send an email to us and just tell us about your traditions. We're, we're glad to hear them. So, from our house to your house, our very best wishes for a very happy, and peaceful holiday season. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.